Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So today I'm going to be speaking about another one of that idiot Gilbert Strang's videos in which he talks about the exponential function. Let's listen in, okay? Hi, uh, well this is exponential day, the day for the function that only calculus could create, y is e to the x. And it couldn't have come from algebra. Okay, so first of all, calculus didn't create the function e to the x. And yes, it actually comes from algebra directly. So Strang is wrong on both these things. So let's see why he's wrong. Okay, so if we look at this article to which I will place a link, we'll see that we can take this binomial here, which is expressed as a function in terms of x and n. Okay, this binomial right over here that I'm pointing to, that binomial. And if we expand it, we'll end up with this series on the right. And all we have to do in the end is simply say that uh, since all the terms in n are zero, these, these terms that you see over here, and all the other terms, we can discard them, right? Because they're all zero. It's not taking the limit, it's algebra. It's simply, for example, if you have a function like y is equal to x plus two, and you discard x, you'll have two, okay? So there's no calculus there. Now, you can also obtain the same e to the x using this formula. Now, over here, you might say also uh, that this uses limits because we're talking about uh, n increasing indefinitely. So for example, uh, this is the second binomial that I'm about to show you. So if you start here, let's go over there, and you increase n indefinitely, okay, it's going to meet up with e to the x, okay? So that's the first one. And the second one, I mean, uh, that's the second one. And the first one is this one here, where if, if it's uh, large, then it's not it's going to be far away from the function. So you simply increase it, okay? Or you simply decrease it to zero. So this this function here, all you have to do is simply uh, discard all the terms in, in n because n is zero, okay? It's f of x n zero. And this one here, you simply discard all the terms in n because they're fractions like this, like the one that you see here which gets smaller and smaller. They never disappear in this case, but in the second one, you're really looking at a limit, all right? The first one, you're not. So there's no calculus whatsoever in this uh, derivation. You might uh, claim, perhaps in this one, there might be limit theory, but that's also nonsense because we can simply discard all the terms in, in N, and we'd end up again with the series in E, which is the series that you see here. So that's what I wanted to point out to you. I'll also give you a link to this applet so that you can download it free and play around with it. And that's pretty much it. So Strang, Strang is a crank and he's a snake oil salesman. And he carries on in this video speaking for close to 40 minutes on absolute garbage. And then he supposedly addresses compound interest here at the end, but he has no idea what compound interest is. And in fact, um, I should know because I've worked as an actuarial clerk at the beginning of my career. And this is very elementary stuff that he showed here. Um, this individual, as I commented here, has said nothing but nonsense in its entirety. And the exponential function is generated by this binomial where no limit theory is required because n happens to be zero in all the terms that contain n. And there are other binomials like the second one I showed you, this one here, which will also generate the function. And of course, Strang is snake oil salesman a bad teacher and a rotten human. If you're not already subscribed to my new calculus channel, uh, become subscribed, click on like, 
and follow me on academia.edu. I have plenty of articles on academia and you'll find them all here um, and some videos and you can become smarter than any of your lecturers or your teachers. I'm John Gabriel and this is a new calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.